Hi everybody, it is April and I am in my craft room and today we're going to make a quilt using leftovers. Hopefully you joined me when I made my pinwheel quilt with a twist and if you did not I will link that to the end of this video and the reason that I am referencing that quilt is because I am using leftovers from that quilt in order to make this quilt. You know the thing I love about leftovers is all the work's already done. So you just take what you've already cooked, you heat it up, you eat it, and there's nothing left to clean up other than what you ate off of. You don't have the five pots that you had that you needed to make what you made, or you don't have the spoons and the forks and the knives. A leftover quilt is kind of the same thing. You have fun leftover pieces like these half square triangles that we turned into flying geese that you can use. You don't have to cut them out again and you don't have to clean up the mess. So I have this layer cake, which is by Canvas Fabric, and it's called Blue Horizon. It is a beautiful layer cake, but I only used 18 of the 42 squares. So I have 22 squares left over. That math doesn't add up, but I'm not even going to think about it because, you know, it's irrelevant at this point how I did it. Anyway, I digress. And if you hear a little bit of nasaliness in my voice, please excuse me and the dog barking and whatever else interrupts this video because I have a little cold going on. I don't feel bad, but I might sound a little nasally. To why we're here to begin with. So I've got all these leftover squares and I don't want these just lying around for eternity. And I thought, well, I should make a really quick put together quilt using these squares because they're so pretty anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take four of these and make a row. Then this is green fabric that I had left over from the pinwheel quilt. I haven't decided if I'm going to incorporate it or not, but this is a possibility. Not much left. I also thought, ooh, how about bringing out some yellow? Because this has yellow, and this is a leftover piece of fabric that I have from a quilt that I did that had, you guessed it, lello. Lello is how we say yellow when we're five. And then I have this fabric, which is a blue version of the green that I used on the other quilt. And I thought this would look really good in between my rows. I decided to go four across, which is 40 inches. And then I can cut single strips of my fabric, my other leftover fabric, to go in between those rows of the four blocks. To make it wider, I'm going to have a wide border all around the outside of my project. More than likely, it's going to consist of this blue fabric because the blue fabric is what I have the most of. With me so far? First thing I wanna do is I want to take four squares, sew them all together to make my row. Let's go do that first. What I'm going to do is just grab a square. If you want to pin them together and then put them, then sew them, that is absolutely fine. I want this to be quick and, you know, like making leftovers, not a ton of work because you already did the work earlier. I am sewing a quarter inch seam. So my math was not entirely accurate. Shocking, 
I know. So let's put together two of these partial rows. So here we have the five rows. One of the most important leftovers that I forgot to mention were these half square triangle blocks that were left over from the pinwheel quilt. And this is the quilt that I want to use these either as a border or somewhere. I want to incorporate them somewhere. I'm just going to start sewing these together after I trim the dog ears and then we'll see if I have enough to go on either side as the border. I don't, I don't want to make this hard. I have been totally overthinking this quilt. I have taken something that should be very simple and I've made it as complicated as I could. So I am backtracking. What has thrown me is I was so sure on what I wanted to put in between these rows because of what had worked so well with my pinwheel quilt. I have found I don't like it with this quilt. And I think the difference is my pinwheel quilt had a whole lot of white. This doesn't have any white. So when I put the darker green, what did I do with the darker green? Hold please. So when I use this in between the rows, I don't like it. I'm like, fine, no problem. I knew that I was going to love this blue that is the same pattern, just in a different color way. Ha, got that one right. I put this up here. I don't like it. I thought, I just knew. I knew it was gonna look great. So another fabric that I thought I was going to love was this green. I don't like it either. So took that one down. I thought, well, maybe the yellow. There's a lot of yellow. I can pull out the yellow. Put the yellow up there. Didn't do anything for me either. So I went to a remnant that I had purchased. And this remnant, which I thought I would not like at all. As a matter of fact, Pam pointed the, the bolt out of this and I thought, no, I don't like that. Well, Pam, you were right. This is the one that I like the best. And then this, and let me show you up close. So it's got the light blue, it's got the yellow, and it's got the green. It, it pulls everything together. So I can put this in between my rows. So let me throw this together and let's see how it turns out. My quilt top is complete and it doesn't look exactly how I pictured it. I ended up taking that, what I said was going to be a 10 inch wide border and making it five inches. And instead of putting my fake flying geese on the top and the bottom, I decided to put it on the sides of this quilt. I overthought it, but I used all of these flying geese and I used my squares that were left over, minus four squares, and I figure I can make a throw pillow with that. Have a great day, eat some chocolate, and be kind to everyone. Until next time, bye. M&Ms are my favorite. Really? It's over, I will. <laughs> Hopefully you watched my pinwheel quilt that I made using 
Jolly Bars, which I didn't really make using Jolly Bars, and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> that we've turned in. <sighs> she must want in. She does not need your help. I don't know if you remember. Doesn't matter if you remember. Right on the Oh my gosh. <laughs> if I use five, let me do over. Ooh, I just had a, a brainstorm. 